Hey everybody, I am Krista B. I'm Queen PR. And I am a Black wrestling creator and a podcast host. And I am also a Black content creator and a podcast host. So I feel really elated and honored to be a part of your voices, your story, celebrating celebrating Black excellence in wrestling because this is just something that we do all the time. Like we always celebrate black excellence in wrestling, especially with our podcasts and our platforms. And we just want to share a little bit of our stories and our experiences being black female content creators in this space, in the world of wrestling that hasn't always been so accepting of us. And for us to find a way of making a outlet for others to follow behind us or to be on the same plane and lane as us. So, um, P, from a fan's perspective, what are some of your favorite wrestling memories or moments? Um, like growing up, I watched a lot of the Attitude Era and I enjoyed the surprise factor of a lot of those things, like a lot of Stone Cold moments come to mind. But most recently, it's been exciting to see like what black women have been doing in wrestling. So like being there when uh, Sasha Banks and Naomi won the tag titles at WrestleMania, um, being able to witness the first uh, main event with two black women and things like that or even just how many black wrestling champions like Kofi Mania um, and just everything that comes along with that and the connection to like Wale Mania and connecting the culture and being able to um, like kind of create a table and like a lane for a lot of like black people and a lot of black women in the space. So when I think of like wrestling like moments now now it's like it's so much more than just like you know the glass shattering it's like seeing what we were even able to do in the space yeah for me i one of one of the wrestling moments that stand out they both include big swole Mm. big swole she was a wrestler you know she's no longer wrestling um at the moment and the first one that stands out for me was seeing her and Tasha Steele's main event, the very first Jobber Slam, mm-hmm. and her winning the title. Um, because she said before she's never won a title. She's never really held a big championship. I think that was even maybe her first main event, too. Yes. her. Fun. Yeah. So for her to be in that space, creating that moment for Black women. And then the second one was her match against Trisha Dora. And she mm. gave that amazing speech at the end of it. And it was just an outpour to us as Black women, us as Black people in the same room. And it's great to go to these indie shows and be able to see people who look like us, Mm -hmm. people who think like us, people who want to draw creativity like us from being in these wrestling rooms. So those are literally one of my, some of my favorite moments. Um, Another favorite moment of mine is actually being connected to these wrestlers on you mm-hmm. know personal levels um i was able to you know speak with and get connected with bianca belair and trinity and mia yim and like it's big swole tasha stills mm-hmm. faye jackson all of these people who are on yeah. like who are literally professional wrestlers and not only that we're able to connect with people just like us, podcasters, yep. content creators, like you said, at Wale Mania, mm-hmm. at different wrestling events. So those are the, the the moments that I take away from as being a fan, not even just like a fan of the pros, but like a fan of all things wrestling. Yeah. So we're gonna have to talk about what it's like being a content creator though, in mm-hmm. this space. Um, and we're gonna be honest, it's, it's sometimes, it's not easy. It is not an easy feat of being a content creator in this space. You always have, you constantly have to come up with ideas. You constantly have to make sure that your viewership, your fans, your friends, everybody who your supporters are always engaged in what you're, what you're producing, what you're putting out there. And sometimes it could be hit and miss. It could be a lot mm-hmm. of trial and error. There's been times where you lose your momentum. Like you feel like you're overwhelmed. You don't want to do it, you know, and then it becomes like a forcible thing. And then when you force it, it's not pure. It's not genuine. It's not Mm -hmm. 
something that you could be you could look back at and be like yo i did that Mm -hmm. it's really more so in the fact of all right i did it i'm putting it out and you know take it for what it is um so being in this space and doing the behind the scenes stuff there's there's a lot of fun behind it Mm -hmm. but it's not an easy thing but we have our crew like we have a crew to lean on Mm -hmm. we have a crew to like help us decompress and be like all right just take your time Mm -hmm. we're gonna be here when you get back and they give us constructive criticism they're here to uplift us and it lets us know that we're not alone in this right and it's cool too because you know wrestling has always been dominated by white men and it you know you watch like the women struggle to get noticed and being on the same playing field it's the same thing with content creators and podcasters and media where there aren't a lot of black women in the press rooms or you know ones that's whose youtube channels usually like kick off it's always like the same kind of prototype so being able to be in the media world talking about wrestling like as black women like from new york very much ourselves very authentic and then being able to have a voice like that to me is like a privilege and it's almost it's hard to remember like when we started because you know our podcast is turning five and there weren't a lot of us at all like we stood out because we were the only ones doing it and there's so many people that i'm sure that we've inspired to get into wrestling media and wrestling commentary and stuff like that from watching us because we were you know in those press rooms for the first time like we we did a lot of things where we were the example for other black wrestling media so that is probably like the one thing that has been sticking out to me on my mind and i love when people you know reach out and say like oh you know thank you you know a lot of people on twitter like thank you for what you guys do because you made me be okay with loving wrestling so as black women and because you don't think i I can't even tell you the reactions i get when people when i tell people that i'm a black wrestling fan or not i'm a black wrestling fan but that i love wrestling and that i host a podcast with like one of my friends and they're like wait what yeah so us being able to be out there and like give other women like that confidence to to be a content creator because like you said chris is not easy it's it you know so being able to be an example um is really cool and i I absolutely love that um I, i feel the same way you do being that example for those to come after us for kids because we've had kids we've had kids come up to us and be like oh my gosh so so to see that they're watching to see that you know we're doing this and setting an influence and a precedent for them it's just something amazing the fact that we're the representation like not even because we're women it's because we're black women we're the representation and they also have representations in naomi or Mm -hmm. trinity um Bianca Belair, Big Swole, Tasha Steeles, um, Faye Jackson, Cameron Bam Bam. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We haven't had, we haven't had that when we were growing up. We had the men, but now to see that they have the women and black women and see Mm -hmm. representation matters. That's something that we will always stand on. We will always fight for. We will always go tooth and nail for because representation matters. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. We just want to wish you all a happy Black History Month. Yes. This is only the beginning. Black wrestling creators, fans, media personalities, everybody in this space. Only up Who from here. Only up from here. Again, I am Krista B. I'm Queen PR. And we're those wrestling girls. And until next time. <laughs>